Hello everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will show you my exciting journey to Almaty, the former capital and the largest city in Kazakhstan. And what's incredible about this trip is that I didn't spend any money on accommodation because I was staying with Couchsurfing hosts. If you've never heard about Couchsurfing, a free hospitality platform, check out the video about it on my channel. And in this video, I will show you around Almaty and introduce you to my great Couchsurfing host, who made this trip really unforgettable. Almaty is a very green and beautiful city. It is adorned with parks, gardens and tree-lined streets, making it one of the greenest cities in Central Asia. And it's surrounded by gorgeous Tangshan Mountains. When you wander around the city, you'll see a mix of different building styles. Some of them are like time machines back to the Soviet times with the big, imposing structures of the Soviet architecture. Almaty is a melting pot of cultures and ethnicities. You'll find a mix of Kazakhs, Russians, Uyghurs, Koreans and many other ethnic groups living here in harmony and contributing to its cultural diversity. I'm glad that I had the chance to explore this city and connect with its super friendly people. And now let's meet my first Couchsurfing host. I'm Andrew, software engineer from originally from Belarus, but I live in Almaty, Kazakhstan. Andrew is an adventurous soul who lives in a unique container home. And even though there is not much space there, he accepts guests and helps travelers. I'll show you around his cozy little place. He was very kind to give me a separate room and stayed on the sofa. By the way, I have a video where I explain how to choose a good host to make sure that your couchsurfing experience will be safe and positive. Together with Andrew and other couchsurfers, we went on a great two days trip to explore lakes and canyons of the Almaty region. He showed me around and we joined couchsurfing meetups and a hiking trip together. Andrew's hospitality and the time we spent together were an amazing start to my Almaty journey. I even took a small interview from him. So why do you host people? What does it give you? Because it's very interesting to communicate with people from um, another part of the world, from another culture, from this another religion. There's different uh, views of something. You can um, expand your horizons. Another very important thing is I got very good friends for life because, you know, this community with many very interesting people with unique experience. How active is Couchsurfing community in Almaty? Yeah, Nomati is one of the active uh, community I met. We have several hundred people, for example, in our chat, and it's growing up. Uh, we have a lot of events for hiking, bars, just for sometimes for hanging out. It's very interesting and really amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I stayed with Andrew for five days, even more than I requested, and I'm very grateful to him for his hospitality. Still, I really liked the atmosphere of the city, so I felt like spending more time there. Andrew had other guests coming, and I requested to stay with another Couchsurfing host. My second host, Dennis, was a true local expert who showed me around Almaty, sharing interesting facts and stories about the city's history and culture. It was like having my personal tour guide. I learned a lot about this vibrant city through his eyes. Also, it turned out that we are originally from the same region of Kazakhstan, but Dennis moved to Almaty around 15 years ago, so he already became a local here. Dennis's apartment is located in an old Soviet house, and with his permission, I will give you a little tour around his apartment too. It has two rooms, so I also had a separate room there. I stayed in his cozy home for three days, and he really made me feel like home.
Also, it's great that when you stay with local people, they know the best places to go and they can show you some cozy, authentic places that tourists do not know. For example, we came to have coffee with delicious croissants to a very nice little cafe that doesn't even have a sign, so if I was walking in the street, I wouldn't even notice it probably. It was super nice with friendly personnel and they were selling some beautiful handmade things. So, thanks to Dennis, I learned many facts about the city and was able to stay there longer. And now I will show you a third place where I stayed in Almaty. It's this apartment with a beautiful view of the mountains. Though the most important thing is not the place I stayed at, but the cool people I met there. When I requested my third host, Serkan, to stay with him, he was already hosting a girl from India and a girl from France, but he said that if it's okay for me to sleep on the same sofa with the girls, he can host me too with no problems. Of course I agreed, and this was a really great multicultural experience for me. Hey. Hi. <laughs> the girls were really cool with very interesting life stories, and Serkan was an example of real Turkish hospitality. He hosted three people at the same time, and he also had two sweet cats in his home. We cooked food together and shared interesting stories from our home countries. I'm going to prepare for my house, for Anna and for the other girls who we are for. And it's gonna be again a nice Sunday. <laughs> This time we were cooking breakfast. As our host was Turkish, we decided to make menemen, a Turkish dish which is scrambled eggs with tomatoes and peppers. Some people also add onions there. Don't think that I was a loafer. I also helped with cooking quite a lot between taking my videos. Our eggs in the end didn't turn out to be like a real menemen, but still they were very tasty. It's more the French style of fried eggs. I stayed with Serkan and the girls for four days and this was a great time. We didn't hang out with Serkan too much as he was working and had some other plans too, but I felt very cozy in his apartment. I wanted to explore the city by myself, met with other couch surfers, and I also needed to devote some time to working on my videos. You might be wondering how I plan my trips. Well, I don't. I just go with the flow. Couchsurfing has been the perfect platform for this approach. Sometimes my hosts suggest must visit places, or I just join other couchsurfers on their trips. So I am really grateful to Couchsurfing because it gave me the opportunity to meet great people and it also made it affordable for me to stay so long in the city. During my stay in Almaty, I attended Couchsurfing meetups and connected with amazing people from all over the world. We explored the city together, tried local cuisine and had really interesting conversations. So Couchsurfing is not just about saving money, it is about the incredible connections you can make on the road. 
If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more travel adventures and tips on budget traveling. See you soon!